Jason's Custom House here, and if you watched my last video, you would know that I said that I had a new project, and this is it. It's a 1986 Articat Cougar 500. Um, it's got insanely low miles. It's got 762. Um, it also has an aftermarket tachometer, and it is pretty nice. Um, I got this sled for free from my dad's boss, except it doesn't really run that well. It runs, but not well. Um, I'm going to climb up here and show you the engine. Um, it's got a brand, it's got a, I believe this is the original seat, but it's pretty mint. No cracks at all. It's got a toolbox, came with a spare belt, um, toe strap. And an extra spark plug. Um, we also got the manual for it. Not the manual, but the service manual. That goes with these year Articat sleds. This is good. Because not only will we know for this sled. But for my sled. The uh, 1986 Articat LT 6000. It's also included in that service manual. So that'll be nice. Um, it's got heated hand grips. Not sure if they work. Primer. Choke. On off switch. It's got a gas gauge there, but need a new one of those. Kill switch, high low beam, park, brake, throttle. If you ride snowmobiles, you already know all this stuff probably. Um, the pull cord, that bushing is broken. It's worn out. Now, we need to get a new one of those. Can't find it. Don't know what it's really called, but we will get one. Um, another thing is, you might see. This windshield is broken. When we first picked up this hood, it was not. When we were driving down the road, I did not think of strapping the hood down. And so the hood flew open and cracked the windshield. Which is really a shame because those are like 70 bucks. But it is what it is. You can't do nothing about it. Uh, this has the Arctic Cat Spirit 500 fan cooled with twin 34mm carburetors. Um, it has an air box in it, but I don't think we'll be using that. Just because the boots aren't there and it's, it doesn't make sense to use it anyway. It's just a lot nicer to have it that way. Um, as you can see, the wiring is quite a mess on this sled. It's pretty dirty inside, but we just haven't had time to clean it. As you may be able to pick up some of these snowmobile guys. Know that that is a new coil. That's a Kimpex part. Um, the old co it has problems with sparks on the PTO side or clutch side, as some guys say. Um, we don't know what's wrong with it. Thought it was a coil. Let's put it in. It doesn't seem to be working right again. So it must be an electrical issue someplace. Uh, it's a very nice sled. It's got the fiberglass belly pan. It's sleds in that year. Um, the hood is in mid condition rather than the foam. It's got a silver pipe. That needs to be painted. It's got the suspension. Don't worry about the water there. I'm going to take that out today. It's got all new fuel lines, new oil injection line. Um, it's got filled up with oil. Can't get that open. Um, it's real tight. Skis are in really nice condition. A uh, little bit of surface rust. And it's got a new belt as well as the new belt in the back. So it's got pretty much two new belts with this sled. But it's missing nose code. That's not a big deal. We're concentrating on getting this sled running. But once we get that running, it should go really nice. Another thing, this has the AFS suspension on it. And it also has a really, really nice track. Like if you guys can see that, that is pretty much almost new for this sled. Or besides a little bit of wear on it. But for this year, it's a really nice track. Also, somewhat added these little plexiglass guards for the vent. I'm not sure why, but I guess they work. So, just gonna go in Yeah, here's a front view through the trailer mesh. Um, yeah, sadly, in Pennsylvania, we've not got much snow at all. We've got about maybe five inches in November, um, and about two inches here about two weeks ago. So, haven't had time to ride the sleds anyway. Um, 
the links. I don't think you guys have seen that good. I'll show you that probably Wednesday, maybe. No, not Wednesday. Probably another video. But that sled is the only running sled currently. My old TJ has car problems. And this sled, as you guys heard, it's got some sort of firing issue. So I'll be sure to let you guys update it on this sled if I get it going, or even if I don't get it going. Um, if you guys know what the problem might be other than the coil, leave a comment down below. Um, and like this video for more, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will be coming back with you probably Thursday for a winter update video. Um, it is the middle of February currently. It's currently President's Day, off to school, but I will be showing you the winter update, what's in my shed, and some future plans, and it's really just going on right now. Um, so, bye, Jason's custom. Yeah. Mm -hmm.